Hello, and welcome to the SAPIO Foundry Travel Tech Cohort Demo Day. I'm Domitila Caputo, head of SAPIO Foundry San Francisco. Thank you for joining us today. We have a very exciting agenda. You will be hearing from the seven incredible startups we have worked with over the past 15 weeks and from a special guest. Each company will be introduced to you by Ben Barter in Crime, Johnny Wong from the SAP Concur Strategy and Operations team. The startups have made tremendous progress over just three months, and we can't wait for you to meet them. We want this to be an engaging discussion, and we want to hear from you. You can use the live chat to ask questions and to cheer on the startups. If you have attended our previous demo days, welcome back. If this is your first time with us, welcome, and let me tell you briefly about what we do at SAPIO. SAPIO is SAP's strategic business unit focused on incubating innovation and driving new business models. The small I and the big O stand for a small input having a big output, because we believe that by working with a small, early stage enterprise software startups that are strategically aligned to SAP, and plugging them into the SAP ecosystem, we can have an outsized impact for our customers and the startups. We do that either through venture investments, our SAPIO fund, or through our SAPIO fundraise, SAP's zero equity accelerator program that we run in eight locations around the world. We are in San Francisco, New York, Berlin, Munich, Paris, Tel Aviv, Singapore and Tokyo. Since we started SAPIO in 2017, we have worked with over 200 startups globally. Let's get started. I'm delighted to introduce you to our special guest, Jim Lucier, president of SAP Concur, for a warm welcome to today's demo day. Jim Lucier. Hi, everybody. My name is Jim Lucier. I'm the president of SAP Concur, and I'm really excited to be here with you today. Today is our SAP IO demo day for 2020. And while this isn't the format that we had anticipated, it's never been more important that we take a look at travel startups. You see, the business travel industry, as you all well know, is way down this year. And it will come back, as you also all know, but it will come back and it will be different. And it's the kind of organizations that you all represent, organizations that are listening to customers, organizations that are willing to challenge the status quo. Those are the people that will bring business travel back and better than ever. So I think this is an incredibly important day and an incredibly important time for our industry. I wanna thank you all very much for participating. And before I pass it over to Johnny Wong, I'd like to thank a few more people. First of all, we have seven finalists today and let's thank them all and recognize them. TripGrid, RoadGoat, Lumo, Jet Set Offset, Bakari, 30 Seconds to Fly, Hot Tailors. Thank you all for participating. I'd like to thank the SAP IO team very much for participating and leadership by Dami and Vanessa has been incredible. I'd like to thank my BD team and I'd also like to thank all of the customers and other employees at SAP Concur that have been involved to make this day happen. Thank you all very much. And of course, Johnny Wong, who's been instrumental in getting all of this done from the SAP Concur perspective. Thank you, Johnny. Now I'd like to turn it over to you. Hey everyone, my name is Johnny Wong. I'm a Director of Strategy and Operations here at SAP Concur. One of the things that my team focuses on is innovation topics. So we're always engaging with interesting startups, the investment banking community, and VCs to try to figure out what are the sort of companies and innovations we want to bring into the Concur ecosystem. So we were super excited about this opportunity to be able to partner with SAP IO Foundry on launching their first ever t and cohort. Um, I'd love to give you a little bit of context on how we ended up with the seven companies that are, you're about to see demos from. So 
we vetted over 100 companies and invited the top 12 companies to come out and pitch to a group of SAP Concur executives um, across the organization, R&D, marketing, BD, product, um, as well as Concur customers and VCs to really find those companies that we thought would have the most impact. And the top seven companies were selected and participated in the program over the last several months where we've had a lot of opportunity to have mentorship, really interesting workshops, and an accelerated path to partnership with SAP Concur. First up, we have Jake from TripGrid. TripGrid is a workspace designed specifically for project-based travel. So it makes a lot of the reporting and itinerary management of large groups a whole lot easier. And he'll be sharing a little bit more about what their upcoming integration with Concur will look like. Hello, I'm Jake Hoskins, co-founder and CEO of TripGrid. And we built project management software for team travel. So what the heck is team travel? Well, we all know that a third of business spend is on group-related travel. It's a huge market. The business travel industry has always said, well, I guess all of that is meetings and events, right? But there's an entirely different segment of companies that have complex group travel that is not meetings. We spent years listening to customers in vertical industries such as TV, film, music, sports, live entertainment, education, nonprofits, and more. They had a different kind of group travel, and they were all using Excel to piece together their process. We call this team travel. Here are two examples of concurrent customers that use TripGrid today. Feld Entertainment, who manages Monster Truck and Motocross Arena Tours across the country, and one of the world's largest sports entertainment networks. Both spend over $25 million on team travel annually and have combined 52 full-time employees who coordinate travel and manage the budget for thousands of travelers every single day. The average team travel coordinator spends 30% of their workday hand-entering travel data into huge spreadsheets. Arrival and departure reports, transportation documents, rooming lists, individual and team itineraries, cost reports, and more. They circulate all of these static documents inside massive email chains. Then travel changes, and they have to update everything by hand and send another email chain. This process is madness. And the problem doesn't stop with coordinators. Those coordinators each have multiple managers, and those managers are also building huge spreadsheets, but it's to track all of the travel budgets. They have to label every reservation with the appropriate key IDs and regularly send budget updates to various stakeholders. There is no real-time software for team travel budgets, and our customers report that up to 40% of their team travel costs go completely uncategorized. They're literally labeled one general light item, travel. This is the reality of how our customers are spending thousands of hours to organize millions of dollars on team travel until trip group. Trust me, there is a better way than spreadsheets, PDFs, and email chains. With TripGrid, our customers can integrate and bring all of their Concur reservation data directly into TripGrid instantly. This includes all of their key IDs, such as business unit department code and project ID. They can capture all leaked bookings through email parsing technology and spreadsheet uploads to get all of their off-program bookings, including room blocks, into the exact same workspace. Standardized, coordinators can build projects and set up all of their travel documents one time using TripGrid's custom document builder. So their entire company is using the exact same travel documents every single time. Automate, coordinators simply click a button and they can instantly build any of their travel documents such as team itineraries, transportation documents, budget reports, and more. These literally build themselves and stay up to date through the integration. They can share all of their travel documents and reports as live links that stay up to date with the integrated reservation data because email chains are not the future. And finally, they can report on all of their reservations, including off-program bookings on one screen. They can filter, sort, and edit this data in real time, including all costs, and then instantly build custom cost reports that help your team reconcile up to 99% of team travel costs. With TripGrid, our customers automate between five to 10 hours a week of every coordinator on their team. 
and they go from 60% visibility to 99% visibility into their team travel spend. If you found yourself shaking your head, you have team travel or you know someone who does, please make sure to reach out. We are built specifically to revolutionize the way that teams manage and organize their process, and we want to hear from you. You can find out more about how we integrate into the SAP ecosystem at tripgrid.com backslash concur or reach out directly at sales at tripgrid.com. Thank you for your time. All right. Thank you, Jake. Next, we have Anna from JetSet Offset, which is a platform that's helping companies and travelers combat climate change by enabling them to donate to the nonprofit organization of their choice. Hi, everyone. I'm Anna Ford, co-founder and CEO of JetSet Offset. Before founding JetSet Offset, I flew over 100,000 miles every year for work travel. I love to fly. I do but I also care deeply about the environment and sustainability. Like many of you, air travel is my biggest carbon sin. I grappled with this dilemma for nearly a decade before leaving my corporate job and taking a year to study and conceptualize Jet Set Offset at the Harvard Kennedy School. I built Jet Set Offset so that we can fight climate change, not just cause it, every time we take off. It's a way to do good, when we fly. JetSet Offset is a donation-based carbon offsetting tool for sustainable travel. The UN predicts that by 2050, air travel will account for 25% of global carbon emissions. It may be hard to focus on the significance of that prediction right now, as we're mostly staying at home and there's just so much going on in the world. But Climate change is a more pressing and urgent matter than ever. It's inextricably linked with public health and racial justice. And air travel's coming back. It's still predicted that the number of global passengers will double in the next 20 years. Flight shame is a growing phenomenon with few remedies. It's inspiring travelers guilt. It's also threatening corporate image. Our solution to this problem is a simple one. We connect travelers and businesses concerned about climate change and corporate sustainability with environmental nonprofit organizations. We facilitate automatic one cent per mile donations to the chosen charity. In turn, our nonprofit partners market JetSet Offset to their existing donors and communities, and they pay JetSet Offset a 3% service fee of donations received. We have a growing list of nonprofit partners, and they're doing really important work from reforestation to conservation, urban greening, renewable energy, and more. My experience as a guilty road warrior is not unique. Millions of Americans already give to environmental nonprofits. If everyone donated just one cent per mile, $15 billion would go towards fighting climate change every year. We're thrilled to be an SAP.io startup. We've recently built partnerships with online travel agencies, and we will soon be launching an app in Concur's App Center and an integration with TripIt. We are super excited to launch JetSet Offset for Business to help the majority of US companies that are already managing their corporate reputation for sustainability take into account the carbon emissions from business travel that are top of mind and weigh heavily on employees. But here's the thing. Sustainable travel isn't just good for morale. It's smart business. Donations through JetSet Offset are 100% tax deductible. And your customers will be happy that you're taking climate action. Our integration with Concur will allow companies to engage their employees in sustainable travel initiatives and make offset donations on their behalf. Employees are going to have enough to worry about when business travel comes back. So we're working with companies now to put sustainable travel plans in place. And we're getting some help from the research and marketing team at Concur. They've put together dashboards for companies that shows them their previous carbon footprint 
and what a new future could look like in partnership with Jet Set Offset. Here's a quick peek. Our team is working hard to make happier, more sustainable travel a reality. We're eager to connect with companies that want to make a difference, with investors that see the opportunity for impact, and with all of you. I encourage you to check out our website and please reach out to me if you're interested in partnering with us. Thank you very much. Thank you, Anna. Next, we have Kenny from Bakurai, which is launching a group airfare marketplace um, designed to help customers purchase more than 10 seats at a time. If you know anything about that process, it's highly manual, offline, and super time consuming. So Bakurai is going to tell you a little bit more about how that's going to make group travel booking a whole lot easier. Hey everyone, my name is Kenny. I'm one of the co-founders of Baccarai, and here at Baccarai, we are launching the world's first online marketplace for group airfare. Now, when we say group airfare, we're talking about that product that every airline sells to groups of 10 or more people traveling together from point A to point B. So you can think school trips, sports teams, and tour operators. Now, the problem that we're solving can be best illustrated using an example. So meet Roman. Roman is a high school teacher, and each year he is responsible for booking the 8th grade school trip. If Roman were booking for one, two, or three people, it would be a breeze. We're all familiar with the process. Most booking engines like Expedia or Google Flights let you shop instantly for up to six or nine passengers. But Roman can't get pricing for his group, as he's booking for 60. Roman is forced to call each airline's group desk individually, and that's just to research quotes. And once he finds a quote that works for him, he will have as much as six offline interactions with that airline again. From paying a deposit to reducing numbers to paying the final balance, it's all done offline. Now, it doesn't take a team of rocket scientists to know that the internet has allowed us to do things better, faster, cheaper, and smarter. So we are launching the world's first marketplace for group airfare, a place where group customers can come and shop group rates in just a few clicks of a button. Here we are searching rates for 15 passengers and securing space with just a few clicks of a button. This entire process used to take hours. We've now boiled it down to a few minutes. So by now you're probably thinking, well, what does the market look like for group airfare? What is the opportunity here? Well, group airfare includes anyone who travels in groups of 10 or more. Now, primarily that is Every school, sports team, and travel agency on earth uses this product. Now, prior to coronavirus, over $230 billion worth of group airfare was booked offline. $230 billion booked over the phone and via email. Group airfare has some cool benefits, and we believe once it comes online and it's easier to access, these benefits are going to mean a lot to businesses, schools, and sports teams around the country and the world. Some of these benefits include the ability to pay in stages, free cancellations, and free name changes. So if you're a Concur account executive, the free name changes is a huge cost saver. If Susan gets sick and can't go on our trip, you can swap her name on the ticket free of charge. Later this summer, we will be launching Baccarat in the Concur App Center. Concur customers will trade long wait times and an inefficient shopping process for booking group airfare instantly. And when they do so, there's actually a really great ROI on the product. The average corporation launching a 250-person program saves $6,141 on average. So in closing, we are really excited to bring group airfare online. In fact, group airfare is one of the last sectors of travel that has not been touched by digital transformation. And when group airfare goes digital, it's going to be a beautiful thing. Airlines and customers alike are going to save valuable time and money in the process. If you remember anything from this presentation, please remember this. It is 2020 and booking a single flight is so easy. A few clicks of the button and you are off. What we are doing, 
what we're doing here at Baccarat is we're making it as easy to book 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 people with that same experience with just a few clicks of a button. No more phone calls, no more emails, no more back and forth with the airlines. We imagine a world that is completely digital. If you're interested in learning more, we would love to talk. Please visit us at backride.com backslash concur. Also, if you have any questions at all, I can be reached at kenny at backride.com. Thank you for your time and attention, and we look forward to transforming the world of group airfare. Thank you, Kenny. Next up, we have 30 Seconds to Fly, which is a company that provides automation technology to travel management companies. And the TMCs that leverage their technology are able to provide a more personalized and streamlined agent booking experience. And they do that using fully automated as well as semi-automated chat technology that's available in multiple chat channels. Hello, everybody. My name is Felicia Schneiderhan, and I'm co-founder and CMO at 30 Seconds to Fly. When I got awarded my Fulbright Scholarship, people told me that it's going to change my life. I didn't believe it at that time, but then I met my co-founder, who was also a Fulbright Scholar at that time, and now five years later, we're running a company together that is leading the AI revolution for travel call centers. We understood early on that travel management companies were facing an existential threat a new competitor that was not relying on a large workforce like they did, but instead was built around automation. And above all, Silicon Valley is backing these new types of travel company with hundreds of millions of dollars in order to conquer the travel market. COVID-19 has now made the situation for travel management companies more acute because most of them had to let go up to 80% of their travel agents. How will they be able to compete again? They will have to reinvent their weakest points, their call centers. At 30 Seconds to Fly, we are providing travel management companies with an AI technology that automates their contact centers. We drastically reduce their operational costs while increasing their service levels. As a result, TMCs can scale up quickly after COVID and will be able to compete against their new competitors. Sounds incredible? Last year at Focusrite, we won the General Catalyst Award for the most disruptive emerging company in travel. So how does the magic happen? Our AI technology supercharges the travel agent. Both agent and AI work together in the same interface to service the traveler faster and in a more personalized way. In addition to that, the AI can deflect the most repetitive calls from the call center altogether by automating the entire customer interaction from start to finish. We have signed 10 travel management company clients with a total annual turnover of almost $30 billion. Most of our clients deploy our technology Claire as a complementary booking experience to Concur. And most of them want us to integrate with Concur on the back so that they don't need to use an expensive and not always effective profile management system, so that they can source travel policies from Concur as well, and also that they can expense trips seamlessly. My co-founder is an engineer who has researched in machine learning, and I'm an economist with a background in journalism. We work with a highly experienced team. So far, we are the leading technology for automation of travel call centers. Our only direct competitor got acquired for $120 million last year. Travel management companies need to upgrade now in order to ensure a smooth post-COVID recovery. We have developed a fast and accurate AI system that is ready to help them get travel started again. Next, we have Karoche from RoadGoat, which is a location technology platform that has data on millions of travel destinations around the world. And their concur integration is going to improve employee engagement by enhancing the traveler experience. Hey, everyone. I'm Karoche. I'm the founder of RoadGoat. And now that COVID has brought business travel to a screeching halt, 
It's a great opportunity to ask ourselves, when we do start traveling again for business, how do we do it better and safer than ever before? Roadgoat has two products, one for the business traveler and one for the travel manager. Let's focus first on the business traveler. That used to be me. I was a product lead out of Silicon Valley and I had over 60 flights over a span of less than six months. And as someone that tried to make a personal experience out of every business trip that I went on, I can relate to how the business traveler has evolved. And the business traveler no longer wants to stay at that boring hotel by the airport. Instead, they choose interesting neighborhoods to stay where they can walk nightlife, they book fun Airbnbs, meet up with friends, and stay over a couple nights to explore the areas they're in. And as millennials and Gen Zers get more involved in business travel, we're going to see this even more. When we started Roadgoat, we set out to create the most engaging travel community on the web. And we're thrilled to share that in just one year from launch, travelers already spend more time on Roadgoat than nine out of the 10 leading travel websites. And joining the SAP.io Accelerator was a great fit because we could bring that same level of enthusiasm to the business traveler. Now let me give you a sneak peek into how we do it. First is around human interaction. We let you know who in your network is going to be in town when you're visiting. So cancel that room service and go out and reconnect over some happy hour oysters. Second is around gamification. Roadgo writes your life story through the places that you've been. And we make it so much easier to do by combining travels from your social media, fitness trackers, email reservations, and pretty much anything else. Roadgoat even lets you compete with friends and coworkers to become the goat of travel. Last, and this is where Roadgoats spend most of their time, discovering which neighborhoods, towns, and regions match their exact tastes. Are you looking for an LGBT-friendly neighborhood, or perhaps an amazingly charming town to stay the weekend? We've tagged our 4 million destinations for what they're known for, how safe and affordable they are, and everything else you need to know when choosing where to go. How do we do all this? Partially the great insights from our users and partially artificial intelligence, which we use to process data from the most trusted sources, such as the US State Department or hotel pricing indices. So we are just thrilled to announce a partnership with SAP Concur. Today, you can already go onto the Concur App Center and connect Roadgoat or sync with TripIt as well. There's a lot to be excited about here. For employers, here's a chance for your employees to be happier, more engaged, and less likely to suffer that road warrior burnout. And for Concur account executives, here's a chance to show your customers just how much you care about their employees. The best part about this is that it's all free. So let's all work together and roll out Road Goat. And speaking of our Concur customers, there's someone else we really care about, and that's a travel manager. We have a product for them too, and it's called Road Goat Briefcase. COVID is running budgets amok, and meanwhile, it's harder than ever to keep their employees safe. What travel managers need, not only now, but always, is efficient, trustable guidance. Roadgo Briefcase is a suite of three online dashboards, one for traveler safety, one for COVID risk, and one for budget intelligence. It's the same data that powers our leading consumer app. Our artificial intelligence has done the heavy lifting to analyze data from 45 of the most trustable sources and condense them into what are the key things that a travel manager needs to know. The reports look something like this. We use simple stoplight color coding and we cover every country in the world, plus four million distinct locations. For traveler safety and COVID risk, we've developed our own proprietary risk score. And for budget intelligence, we break down the daily costs of being anywhere by food, lodging, and other, all adjusted for seasonality to help you plan that large group travel or just audit the excessive spenders. No matter if you're a small company or large, if you want your employees to love business travel instead of get burned out by it, reach out to me or your Concur account exec. Or if you want to equip your travel managers with common sense dashboards to fulfill their basic needs, let's get you on board now. We're offering a free three month trial if you sign up by July 15th. My name's Karoj. I'm the founder of Roadgoat, and I look forward to connecting with you soon. Thank you, Karosh. Next up, we have Hotelers, which is a travel booking platform for contract or contingent labor workforces. And so for companies that leverage their upcoming concur integration, they'll be able to have better visibility and control into their travel spend, as well as extend their corporate negotiated rate programs. Hi. 
Hello, I'm Philip from Hotelers. Hotelers is a self-booking tool that helps global companies save 30% on the cost and 90% on the time spent on managing business travel for extended workforce. Now I have a question. Do many of you recognize this gentleman? Well, for those who don't, this is George Clooney from the movie Up in the Air from 2009. George was among a few freelancers you could see back in 2009, but this segment exploded since then. Before I started Hotelers, I'd been traveling a lot for business as an independent consultant. But in recent months, George's life, my life, and I think everyone else's life have changed. Nowadays, you have millions of independent contractors around the world. People from IT, consulting, marketing, healthcare, construction, you name it. On top of that, there's your recruitment travel, guest speakers, partners, and even clients who are traveling at your company's behalf. But there are problems. First, spend visibility. The money spent on contractors' travel is invisible to the enterprise. Contingent travel is very often hidden in the project cost and not accounted for as a travel spend so you cannot deduct it from the taxes. Second, lack of visibility, it's also a security issue. Companies, especially now, have to apply a duty of care for all their travelers, not just full-time employees. And last but not least, companies need to save money and look for digital solutions, especially now post-COVID. Today, contractors make up 42% of a global workforce in the Fortune 500 companies. And contractors will not only be the first new hires after COVID, but their numbers will keep growing. For one of our top clients, Google, the number of contingent workers already exceeds 50%. Actually with Google, in 2018, we started with 60 users. In 2020, we have a contract to manage 10,000 users, but the ultimate goal is to deliver value for Google's total population of 120,000 contingent workers. And we are also integrating with SAP Fieldglass to manage Vodafone's global population of 15,000 users across 25 markets. With Hotelers and Concur, contractors like George can make a cashless booking and expense in 20 minutes. With an access to over 2 million properties, 700 airlines, buses, trains, and 24-7 customer support to enhance safety and traveler experience. The companies, on the other hand, apply travel policies, automate trip approvals, and establish a duty of care for all their travelers. The procurement teams, armed with a new spend data for contractors, can negotiate much better travel rates for the whole company. And I am excited to announce that Hotelers will be soon available in the SAP Concur App Center, meaning our clients can easily connect our services, synchronize traveler data, and automatically push expenses to SAP Concur. For all of that, we offer a simple pricing structure with a booking fees from $6 based on the volume. And to celebrate our integration with SAP Concur, to help clients transform their extended workforce travel programs post-COVID, we are waiving our booking fees for six months. So, if you want to better manage your contractor's travel, save money, and keep all your travelers safe, all you need to do is contact me at philip at hotelers.com. Thank you. Now, last but not least, we have Lumo, which is a company that predicts flight disruptions before they're officially delayed or canceled using their machine learning algorithms. And companies that leverage Lumo's technology are able to, one, get their employees where they need to be on time, as well as, two, save money because they're able to make these alternative arrangements before the disruptions are officially announced. I'm Bala Chandran. I'm the co-founder and CEO of Lumo. 
And Lumo is a flight disruption management platform. What that means is we build tools to predict delays before they happen to help proactively manage them. Now, to anyone who's ever been on a flight delay, we can all agree that it's not a very pleasant experience. But at Lumo, we believe it goes beyond just passenger inconvenience. Flight disruptions are bad for business. And that's because oftentimes the cost of a flight delay can exceed the cost of the original flight itself. And flight delays lead to traveler stress, which lead to traveler burnout, which eventually lead to employee attrition. And the reason disruptions are so overwhelming to manage is because travelers today are being asked to do a lot with very little data. So we ask travelers to make gut feel booking and rebooking decisions. Should I connect through Chicago or Dallas? The entire system today is extremely reactive, letting travelers know about delays after they've happened, when there's very little they can do about it. Travelers are being asked to process multiple streams of data, whether it's the weather or um, flight status or COVID data. They're being asked to process all of this data in real time. And finally, there's no institutional knowledge of a delay. Once a delay happens, everyone forgets about it and the whole system restarts. And that's where Lumo comes in. So Lumo helps measure, predict, and avoid flight disruptions. And we recognize that disruptions don't just impact travelers, they impact executive admins and travel managers as well. So the first thing we do is we replace gut feel booking and rebooking decisions with data-driven decisions. So we provide data right in the booking tool that helps travelers choose better itineraries by estimating the risk of delay or missed connection. We replace reactive data with predictive data. So we can tell a passenger that their flight tomorrow morning has a high risk of delay, and they should probably think of choosing another flight instead. We synthesize multiple streams of data, including the weather and air traffic control data, to provide travelers with the latest information they need to know about their flights, so there's one place to go to for trusted flight information. And finally, we wrap all of this in a reporting tool that helps travel managers understand what the impact of disruptions is on the business. And how do we do it? Well, Lumo is constantly monitoring several data feeds, including the weather, air traffic control, historical flight data, some public, some private, some proprietary, and we push all of that into our machine learning algorithms that are constantly synthesizing the data. And the output of those algorithms is presented to the users through three products. The first is the Lumo browser extension. This sits on top of the Concur booking tool and shows the user the risk of delay or a missed connection at the time of booking. So for example, you might tell the user, look, there's a 50% chance of missing your connection at Newark if you choose this itinerary, and they get to choose if they want to take that risk or not. The second is Lumo Navigator, which consists of a mobile app as well as desktop product to help travelers and travel arrangers stay up to date about the latest information of their flights. So we start tracking flights as soon as they're booked and push alerts that are relevant to travelers to keep everyone informed. And finally, Lumo Spotlight is our reporting suite that lets travel managers look at past disruptions to measure competitive airline performance or even be able to pinpoint specific travelers who have had a rough travel month. So we measure everything from the number of red eyes to uh, the number of disruptions to the number of time zone changes. And we wrap all of that into a reporting tool to be able to help travel managers in HR. So we've had some great feedback from our users over the years. Uh, my favorite is when an executive assistant at a consulting firm said that she thought her partner was psychic because she was able to see delays coming before they happen. Uh, typically, we see about 50% of delays are predicted by Lumo before they're announced by the airline. And we work with uh, customers across the travel ecosystem. So we work with airlines, travel management companies, app developers, booking tool developers, because we believe that flight disruptions are a broad pain point across the entire travel ecosystem. So in closing, flight disruptions are a business cost that should be managed just like any other business cost. And Lumo can help you manage disruptions. So we run free pilots to help estimate uh, the ROI. We help you build business cases, so get in touch and uh, we would love to work with you to help you manage your flight disruptions. Thank you.
Big congrats to our founders and their teams. Weren't they incredible? Demo Day is just the beginning of their journey with SAP, and we cannot wait to see them grow. I hope you will all make sure to check our websites. You can find the link in the description below. You can book a meeting directly with the startups and learn more about their products and their offerings to support businesses during this new reality, such as no-cost integrations and free licenses. Help us support these amazing companies. If you are an investor, consider investing in these rising stars. If you are a customer, reach out to hear directly from them. Lastly, if you know of companies that will benefit from these solutions, open the doors through an introduction. This has been a collective effort. A big shout out to our mentors and a special shout out to Johnny, who has been my partner in crime for the past eight months. But before we wrap up the showcase, I'm excited to announce our upcoming cohort focused on future of work that will be launching in September in collaboration with SAP Success Factors. So please let us know if you have any startups that you would like to introduce us to. I want to thank all of you for watching and truly appreciate you spending time with us. We wish you all the best, stay safe, and I look forward to seeing you at our next event.